Hello and uh, welcome to my NetBeans tutorial on how to edit the grayed out areas in NetBeans GUI. So I'm going to show you this in a new um, new uh, project that I make. I'm going to call it Gray Tutorial. And I'm going to show you what actually happens if I try to add a JFrame and have anything that's that's edited in it. For example, I want to add a button to it, and I want to have the button perform an action, a standard action. It has this automatically generates it automatically generates this gray code, and you can put your code in here. However, you can't edit the gray area. See if I'm trying to type here, but it's not working and this is quite a big problem if you have a lot of buttons and you want to change the order of them you want to uh, cut them or delete them and put them somewhere else it's not going to work so basically to fix this all you need to do is uh, make sure that your project is saved because this will save it to the text file that that it it's on so you make sure it's saved you can see that because this becomes um, not bolded and what you want to do is you want to control click on here and go down to tools and then show in finder what you're after that what you're going to do is you're going to open this is basically all of the code that's in NetBeans but you're going to open it with a text editor whatever text editor you want to use instead of NetBeans so when you open it you actually get it in uh, text form and then I can show you you can find where your um, button button action is so I'm gonna just search for that so here it is you can see my code is still in the middle however unlike NetBeans instead of the gray you see you can see this gen first event and this is actually the the means that is generating the this stuff and this is actually what makes it gray so all you need to do is delete the start and you need to delete the last one and then when you save it again you're just going to uh, this is going to update and now you don't have any gray and you can edit this however you want you can change the name you can do whatever you need to do you can even cut it and paste it somewhere else if you need to such as like a long code with a lot of a lot of code so that's how you get rid of the the gray area in NetBeans